take care of each other. The United States Navy SEALs are perhaps the most elite warriors in the world. And one of the SEALs was asked, who makes it through the selection process? Who is able to become a SEAL? And his answer was, I can't tell you the kind of person that becomes a SEAL. I can't tell you the kind of person that makes it through BUDS. But I can tell you the kind of people who don't become SEALs. He says the guys that show up with huge, bulging muscles, covered in tattoos, who want to prove to the world how tough they are, none of them make it through. He said the preening leaders who like to delegate all their responsibility and never do anything themselves, none of them make it through. He said the star college athletes who've never really been tested to the core of their being, none of them make it through. He says some of the guys that make it through are skinny and scrawny. He said some of the guys that make it through, you will see them shivering out of fear. He says, however, all the guys that make it through, when they find themselves physically spent, emotionally spent, when they have nothing left to give physically or emotionally, somehow, some way, they are able to find the energy to dig down deep inside themselves to find the energy to help the guy next to them. They become seals, he said. You want to be an elite warrior. It's not about how tough you are. It's not about how smart you are. It's not about how fast you are. If you want to be an elite warrior, you better get really, really good at helping the person to the left of you and helping the person to the right of you. Because that's how people advance in the world. The world is too dangerous and the world is too difficult for you to think that you can do these things alone. If you find your spark, I commend you. Now, who are you going to ask for help and when are you going to accept help when it's offered? Learn that skill. Learn by practicing helping each other. It'll be the single most valuable thing you ever learn in your entire life to accept help when it's offered and to ask for it when you know that you can't do it. The amazing thing is when you learn to ask for help, you'll discover that there are people all around you who've always wanted to help you. They just didn't think you needed it because you kept pretending that you had everything under control. And the minute you say, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm stuck, I'm scared, I don't think I can do this you will find that lots of people who love you will rush in and take care of you. But that'll only happen if you learn to take care of them first.